today we are going to is 100 physiology multiple choice questions so we don't have time to waste so we just going to our questions the first question is renin is a component of the ras system which the body uses to control blood pressure which of the following will lead to an increase in the circulating levels of renin in the blood? So, from the options given, the correct answer is C. Decreased NACL delivery to the macula densa. Okay, this is the answer. Decreased NACL delivery to the macula densa. And moving on to the second questions. Antidiuretic hormone acts on which segment of the nephron to increase permeability to urea? So, from the options, the correct answer is inner medullary collecting duct, which is the segment of the nephron acts by antidiuretic hormone to increase permeability to urea, inner medullary collecting duct. And moving on to the third question. Cardiac output is not affected by. Which of the following is not affected by cardiac output? And the answer is none of the above. So everyone is everything is affected by cardiac output. So the answer is none of the above. And the fourth question here is the following are greater in the arteries than in the veins, except the following are greater in the arteries than in the veins, except the answer is B. Vascular volume, which is greater in the arteries than in the veins. And moving on to the fifth question. In the cardiac muscle action potential, the refractory period. And the answer is C. It helps prevent arrhythmias. Okay. The in, in cardiac muscle action potential, the refractory period helps prevent arrhythmias. And moving on to the sixth question. According to the West zones of the lung, which of the following describes zone 2? And the answer is B. B A greater than B capital A greater than B B. And moving on to the seventh question. Which of the following directly stimulates central chemoreceptors? The answer is D. Decreased CSF pH. Which directly stimulates central chemoreceptors? Decreased CSF pH. And moving on to the eighth question. The lung volume during Normal inhalation and exhalation when no extra force is applied is called. The lung volume during normal inhalation and exhalation when no extra force is applied is called. And the answer is E, tidal volume. Okay, the tidal volume is the volume during normal inhalation and exhalation when no extra force is applied. Okay. And moving on to the ninth question, it's a clinical pro problem. And the question is, Juan de la Cruz had a heart, hearty meal of lesion with lots of lesion sauce and rice. In a few minutes after all this eating, he suddenly felt the urge to pass bowel movement. What is this physiological phenomenon? And the answer is C, gastrocolic reflux. The 10th question, the following are true regarding 
pancreatic secretion except the answer is b of bicarbonate rich fluid is strongly stimulated by the vagus so all others are true except this and the 11 question which of the following is correct and answer e map is equal to hr into sv into tpr that is the mean arterial pressure is equal to heart rate into stroke volume into total peripheral resistance and moving on to, on to the 12th question if the rr interval was 0.8 second in duration what is the heart rate and the answer is c 75 How we get the answer 75? 60 by 0.8 is equal to 75. Moving on to the 13th question. Which of the following substances is not a component of the plasma membrane? And the answer is E. None of the above. Any one of these is a component of the plasma membrane. And moving on to the 14th question. Which of the ions equilibrium potential exerts the greatest effect on determining the cell's overall resting membrane potential? Which of the ions equilibrium potential exerts the greatest effect on determining the cell's overall resting membrane potential? The answer is C. Potassium ion. Moving on to the 15th question. Which of the following is not true? And the answer is D, A and B. So, this is not true. Also, B is not true. Only this statement is true. And 16 question. If a patient with hypercortisolism has an adrenal tumor, which of the following is the expected finding with the dexamethasone suppression test? So, the answer is not suppressed by low dose and high dose. And the 17th question. In a patient who just ran in a marathon, some of the muscle fibers utilize the anaerobic pathway resulting to an increase in the production of lactic acid and affecting an increase in the local pH. Which of the following is true regarding the O2 hemoglobin curve in the muscle vasculature? The answer is A. The curve is shifted to the right. And for the 18th question, how do glucocorticoids result to an increase in the blood pressure? The answer is C. Permissive action of glucocorticoids to vasoconstrictors like catecholamine. That is how glucocorticoids result to an increase in the blood pressure. Permissive action of glucocorticoids to vasoconstrictors like catecholamine. And the 19th question, which of the following brain structures is the master clock of the body and is responsible for circadian rhythm? Which is responsible for circadian rhythm? And the answer is A, suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is responsible for 
circadian rhythm and is also known as the master clock of the body. And the 20th question. Which of the following promotes reabsorption of fluid in capillaries? Which of the following promotes reabsorption of fluid in capillaries? And the answer is A. Increased capillary post-oncotic pressure. Okay. This is the answer. It promotes reabsorption of fluid in capillaries. So, this will end the part 1 of your physiology MCQs. So, let's see in next video. Thank you guys.